Hey, what's up guys? So most of us love the application called Kodi because of everything it has to offer. But what if I told you that there was just one app that you could install in just a few minutes on any Amazon Fire Stick that gave you full access to all of the brand new movies, TV shows, sports, live TV, and much more. That's right guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you one app that offers everything that in my opinion, it could be better than Cody. If you wanna know how to install this amazing app on your Amazon Fire Stick in just a few minutes, we'll just sit right there because I'm about to show you how to do all of it right now. All right guys, so you're ready to install this amazing app on your Amazon Fire Stick, so let's just jump right into it. The very first thing that we must do is download just one application from the Amazon App Store. And the easiest way to search through the entire App Store for just one app is simply push left on your remote until you're on the magnifying glass right there. Then we're gonna push down and click our center button. It's then gonna bring up a keypad allowing us to type out whichever app it is that we're looking for. But you also have the option of just holding down the voice button on your Amazon remote for a couple of seconds and speaking directly into the remote. So I'm just gonna hold down the button, downloader. Then it's gonna take me right to the Amazon App Store to this bright orange app. From here, all you have to do is click the app. It's now gonna give you the ability to download this on your device. Click your center button one more time and the download will begin automatically. Now, as soon as the download is finished, it's gonna go through the installation. And once that's finished, it's going to say open. But I don't wanna open the app just yet. We're just waiting until it says open. Now that we see it says open, what I'd like for you to do is click the home button on your remote. Because the next thing that we need to do is go into our settings to change just one of the settings. The easiest way to get into all of your settings is simply slide all the way over to the very end. When you do, a menu will appear on the bottom half of your screen. What we want to do is slide down and click on My Fire TV. Now right here, you might notice I have something called Developer Options. If for any reason that you don't have that, don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to get it. All you need to do is come up here and click on About. Then, while highlighted on your Amazon Fire Stick device, what you wanna do is click the center button on your remote about eight times. So we're just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you'll get a pop-up. It says, congratulations, you are a developer, or no need, you are already a developer. Either way, we're just waiting for that pop-up. As soon as you see that pop-up, you can then hit the back button on your remote. And now you will have developer options available on this menu. Let's go ahead and click on that. The first thing you're gonna see is ADB debugging. If you just click your center button one time, you'll notice that you can turn it on. So what we wanna do is turn that on, and then we're gonna slide down and click on Install Unknown Apps. And as you see, Downloader is on this list. Again, all you need to do is click the center button on the remote, and you can turn it on. Now that we've turned Downloader on, what we can do is hit the back button. If you happen to have an older Fire Stick, you might just have the option to be able to turn Install Unknown Apps on or off. Just make sure that you turn it on if you have an older device. All right, let's go ahead and click the home button on our remote. Because the next thing that we need to do is go and find that brand new downloader application that we just installed. And the easiest way to find all of your apps is simply slide almost to the end onto that icon and click on it. It's then going to bring up all of the applications you've ever installed on your Fire Stick. The last application or the newest application always goes to the very bottom of the list. So all you have to do is scroll through all of your apps and the very last app will be the brand new downloader app that we just installed. Let's go ahead and open that up. Now you might have a little pop up like this. Just click your center button and that would disappear. All right guys, so welcome to the downloader app. This application allows you to go along the internet to almost any website it is that you would like to visit. All you need to do is simply click the center button on your remote two times, once and twice. It's then gonna bring up a keypad allowing you to type out whichever web address along the internet that it is that you would like to visit. Today, I wanna take us to one special website. I'm gonna throw it on the screen as I spell it.
All right, so now that you have that address entered correctly, just click right there where it says go. Now you might notice this little red circle on my screen. If I push up and down and left and right, I get to move that red circle. What I would like for you to do is move that red circle down. So we're gonna go down just until we see this big black box. All you have to do is take that red circle and put it anywhere on the black box and click your center button. Then the download process will begin automatically. As soon as the download is finished, it's gonna ask for you to install the app. Simply slide over and click install. Give your system a second, and when it's finished, what I would like for you to do is click on done. By clicking done, it's gonna bring you back to this screen where we're now gonna have the opportunity to delete this unnecessary file. So what we wanna do is slide over and click delete. We're gonna slide over and click delete. All right guys, well that's everything that we need from the downloader app. So let's go ahead and click the home button on our remote. Again, the, we need to go and change just one setting. And if you remember from before, the easiest way to do that is simply slide all the way over to the very end. The menu will appear on the bottom half of the screen. Slide down, and again, we wanna click on My Fire TV. We also wanna click on Install Unknown Apps. And now you will see that Unlinked has appeared on this list. And just like before, just click the center button and turn it on. We need to make sure that both Downloader and Unlinked are turned on for this process to work. All right, let's go ahead and click the Home button. Because again, just like before, we need to go and find that brand new Unlinked app that we just installed. So all we need to do is slide over almost to the end and click on that icon. And just like before, the newest app always goes to the bottom. So again, scroll through all of your apps, all the way to the bottom, and we're gonna open up the Unlinked app. So right here, it will ask you to enter a new library. Just click the center button on your remote, then click it one more time, and a keypad will pop up, allowing you to type out whichever code to whichever library it is that you would like to visit. In today's video, I'm giving exclusive access to my very own personal app store that I have loaded with only the very best, most up-to-date applications available. I wanted to make sure that my viewers have only the very best when it comes to their streaming needs. And guys, for all of my hard work, for putting together the app store, for keeping it up to date, for making the video, answering all the comments and everything that I do, the only thing I ask in return is that you're kind enough just to hit that subscribe button. That tells me thank you for all of the hard work and I really appreciate all of you who have hit the subscribe button. So now that you are a subscriber, go ahead and enter this code right here. All right, so now that you have that code entered correctly, just click right there where it says next. And guys, welcome to my very own personal app store. Now I get a lot of comments down below asking me what's my favorite app for this or that. Guys, I have put my top five favorite applications right here. So depending on what it is that you're looking for, this would be my number one recommended application in each of the different categories. Also, make sure that you take just a second to read this and learn a little bit more about the importance of a VPN. We'll get into a little bit of that later, but I want to make sure that you have an opportunity to read everything that's on the screen. Once you do, click the center button on your remote two, maybe three times. By clicking the center button a few times, what that's going to do is going to break my store into different categories for you. You can push up and down and go through the different categories or left and right to select the different applications. But I want to show you the best app at the moment right now that I think is better than Cody. That's right guys, it gives you all of the movies, TV shows, sports, live TV, and much more. That's the Cinema HQ application. So all you have to do is highlight the application that you would like to download, and then click your center button. It's gonna ask, would you like to download? You just click download. Give your system just a few seconds and you'll start to see how fast that this app is downloading the percentage. Now, once this reaches 100%, 
the download is finished and it's going to ask for you to go through the installation. So we're just going to give it just a second to finish up. Then we want to click install app. We want to slide over and click install. Give your system just a few seconds and when the installation is finished, it's going to bump you right back into my store so that we can continue to download even more applications. Just like this. All right, let's slide over and download one more app. This is the IPVanish VPN. It is by far my number one recommended application when it comes to keeping you 100% safe and secure, and also bypassing all of those restrictions that your own internet provider is putting on you and all of your devices. All we have to do is click our center button and click download. And just like before, we'll see the percentage of how fast this app is downloading. As soon as this reaches 100%, we'll be able to install the app. Click install app. Slide over and click install. And again, give it just a few seconds and when the installation is finished, it's gonna bump you right back into my store. Guys, you're already in the store. This thing is loaded with all kinds of applications. I don't recommend that you just come here for one or two apps. I recommend that you try several different applications as each of them has something different to offer. Please try out as many that you like. All of the applications are free to download. Now that you have installed all of the applications that you would like from my store, what I want you to do is click the home button on the remote. Because just like before, let's go and find all of those applications that we just installed. Just slide almost to the end Click on that icon. It's gonna bring up all the apps that you have on your device. Now, all you have to do is slide down. Then I would like for you to highlight any of those brand new apps that you've downloaded. Then click the three dashes on your remote right next to the home button. When you do, a little menu will appear. Now you can click move or you can slide down and click move to front. And when you do, it'll take the application from the very bottom and move it to the very top. I wanna do that with two more apps. So I'm gonna slide over, I'm gonna hit three dashes and move to front. Again, three dashes and move to front. Now please feel free to move these applications around in whatever order is gonna work best for you. But I wanna show you what moving these apps does for your device. So let's click the home button. Right here from the home screen where you begin each and every time, I wanted to make sure that you had easy access to the brand new apps right there. This first app is unlinked. That's my store. If you wanna go try out some brand new apps or get some updates to your existing apps, I wanted to make sure you had easy access back to my store. Then we have the IPVanish VPN. Again, it is by far my number one recommended application when it comes to keeping you 100% safe and secure. Now before I ever open any of those applications I downloaded from my store, I always make sure that I turn my VPN on first. So let's go ahead and open that up so we can turn it on. So right here, it will ask you to enter a username and password. If for any reason that you don't already have an account with IPVanish, don't worry, I'm gonna make it super easy for you to get one. All you need to do is log into any internet browser that you have and go to this website right here. Also, if you check below in the comment section or in the description of this video, I'm also going to put a link there. Either way, you can click the link or enter it manually this way or even take a picture of the QR code. It's then going to take you to the IPVanish website. From there, you can pick out whatever plan is going to work best for you. Once you do, they're going to email you with your very own username and password to log in right here. I'm going to enter mine and I'll meet you in just a second. All right, guys, so welcome to the IPVanish VPN. Again, it is by far my number one recommended application when it comes to keeping you 100% safe and secure while enjoying all of those apps from my store. But also beyond just keeping you safe and secure, it will also bypass all of those restrictions that your own internet provider is putting on you and all of your devices. And speaking of devices, I know a lot of you ask me, how many devices does one account work for? The answer is unlimited. That's right, guys. It doesn't matter how many iPads or cell phones or tablets or 
uh, computers or televisions that you might have in your house, it will connect all of them simultaneously on just one account. Now really quickly, before we just hit the word connect, I wanna show you a few settings. All you have to do is push right on your remote and click on the gear. It's then gonna bring up this little menu on the right side of your screen. The very first thing that I'm highlighted on is it says connect on Android startup. Now I know that I've been excited and opened those apps from my store and started watching a movie and then realized, oops, I forgot to connect to my VPN. And then I had to go back and connect and start everything over and it was a big pain. So if you don't wanna have to constantly re be reminded or remember if you have connected to the VPN or not, all you need to do is click on Connect Android Startup, turn that on, and every time that you turn your device on, the VPN will connect automatically. Also, down below, you have something called Split Tunneling. This gives you the opportunity to have the VPN run with certain apps, but not run with other apps. So determining which apps that you want the VPN on or off for. Also, down below, you're gonna have your account information and all of the information you're gonna need if you have any issues. So if you wanna contact support, if you wanna ask them any kind of questions, right here is where you're gonna get the information to do that. All right, let's go ahead and click the back button because now what we can do is click on the word connect. Now it's gonna ask, are you sure you wanna to connect to a VPN? Click okay. Give your system just a few seconds and once you see that the country lights up in green, you know that you're connected. Not only does the country light up in green, but it also has a timer right here telling you how long you've been connected. And it also says connected right there. So it's gonna give you three different ways to tell you that you are connected to the VPN. Now, all you need to do is click the home button on the remote. The VPN will continue to run in the background, keeping you connected and protected while you go and open up all of those amazing applications that you downloaded with me today from my store. Now guys, I would love to hear from you in the comment section below, letting me know what you thought about this video, what you thought about the store. If you have any questions or any comments about anything, I love reading every one of your comments down below and I answer each and every one of you. Now, if you have not done so already, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and you can also ring the notification bell if you never want to miss another video. But guys, more importantly than all of that, I would love it if you were to share this video with a friend. That way, they too will have 100% instructions on how they too can enjoy all of this stuff absolutely free, just the way that you do. So please, pass this video along to a friend, and so that way they can share with their friends, and before you know it, Everybody is going to be able to enjoy this amazing content absolutely free. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you again real soon in the next video.